Welcome to the home of the 2007 Stanley Cup champions, the Anaheim Ducks. And we are rolling in Southern Cal tonight. Lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Penguins will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Shot, and that's blocked. Anaheim's looking to break out. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. Slides it across to Latang. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. The Ducks have it from their own end. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Quick cross ice pass to O'Connor. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Here's a chance in front! And that chance is blocked! And the puck's kicked free. Flips it up to that. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. The Ducks play it along the wing. Huge steal at his own end. Moves it to Joseph. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Handles the puck. Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Huge hit against the glass. I love the physicality in this game, but now there's going to be a stoppage in play, James, as that glass, it is broken. We're still in the early stages of this period. The game is still scoreless. The Ducks come up with the defensive zone draw. Anaheim's got it against the boards. Jostled off the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Quick feed down low. The Ducks have it against the wall. And it's kicked away. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Down the right side and into the zone. Shot. Scores! There's an in on goal. I just love the effort to set up this goal, James. I mean, knowing that you have the puck on your stick, it's a real unselfish play because everything he is doing is calculated to manipulate his opponent because he wants to feed his teammate. The Ducks strike first here in the opening frame. A relatively early goal here in this one. Well, you can see that the team is starting to settle in, and it's typically halfway through the period when you can see who's got the legs and who doesn't. But it's been a consistent effort. Now they've got the lead. Hey, often when they get the lead, they finish the game with the lead. So that's a nice way to start the game. Oh, that has some heat on it. He makes the save. And there's another stop. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Anaheim's up one zip. The Penguins will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Still has possession. And the puck departs the zone. The Ducks take it across the blue line. Quick feed to Lundstrom. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Ludwig stick handling in his own zone. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. Anaheim setting their power play unit out for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Gets it out of his own end. Excellent stick work on the play. Drives to the paint. Fantastic save. Jari's movements are outstanding. I mean, he gets to position so quick. He's athletic and he makes a huge save from the slot. Rust's gonna play it from the back of the cage. Wide of the net, he missed! Oh man, that is so frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. And makes the routine save. 
We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Eller's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And a solid save there as we play on. Taken by O'Connor. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Picked up along the wall by O'Connor. Sends it in deep. The Ducks gain possession. Slides it quickly to Strom. The Penguins have possession shorthanded. Ludwig standing up, ready to go. The Ducks get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly show why they're on that unit. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Chari. Quick pass to Graves. Rust's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity to protect it. Crosby's backhand shot gives goalies a tough time. His beauty backhand zone ability is one of his favorite ways to score. Anaheim's gonna start with the puck in their own end. Trying to clear the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Moves into the slot. That's blocked. The Penguins have it in the offensive end. Slides the puck to Smith. Sends a pass over. The Penguins take it across the line. Fires it on net. Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the sweat it away. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Crosby's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Ducks win the draw here in their own end. Big time defensive play. Here's the clearing attempt, and they get it done. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Here's a short pass to Bunty. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. From the half wall, a chance! Jostles the puck loose. And they send it down the ice. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Penguins still trail by a goal as they fail to capitalize on the power play. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. And some good footwork to kick it away. The Penguins have it now. Great poke check on the reach. Feeds it on over to Fowler. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Terry. He got all of that hit on the play. Back to the point it goes. Huge stop by Chari. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Sorry, feed. Oh, and he's taken down. Penalty coming up. Continue to be shorthanded here. The Ducks win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Here's a shot, and that's blocked from someone in front. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. 
Oh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. The Ducks have it behind the net. Oh, great save there! Save made by the goalie. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. And a successful clearing attempt. Slittering pass. Oh, he comes up with a stop. To the low side. Gains control of the puck here at the line. than your opponent, and they get the PK running around. Absolute mayhem, and then eventually it goes in. Anaheim's come to play tonight, now leading by two here in the first. Well, a consistent effort through the first period here, James. I'll just want to wind it down and make sure they head to intermission with that two-goal lead. It's all about the number of shots they're putting towards the net. You know that their coach has been telling them. You get it on your stick, you find a lane, put it there. Here's a chance in front! We're going to face off after the puck stays coming up. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the face off. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Moves it quickly over to Kalorn. Pittsburgh's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And the puck's booted away. Passes it to Kalorn. But Toronto swooping in on the attack. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And that sends a few people scrambling for cover on the bench. Strom's ready for the draw in this man advantage. Ready for the draws, they will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Puck clear from the defensive end. And now it's over to McTavish. O'Connor's almost out of the box. Oh, what a power save on the play! Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp, he had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Zellweger. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Hey fans, free tickets are still available. Welcome back, everybody. James Sadowski with you. Period number two, the middle frame, ready to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Jari's been so dialed in right from puck drop, and really the only player that has been, he has been under seas. Yes, they're trailing, but they still have an opportunity to get back in this game because of him. The Ducks have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. Gibson's going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Anaheim's got a 2-0 lead. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Terry's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Grabs control of it at the point. Here he is in front. Stars make it three in a row and they're coming now. Well, they certainly are three in a row. They've got their opponents on their heels. It is a wave. You can feel it. The energy every single shift. They're getting it in.
Anaheim's been the dominant team tonight, and look at the score here, but I think it starts from the back end there, Cheryl. Well, it really does. This has been a clinic in terms of a 200-foot game. you got to protect your goaltender and take care of your own zone if you want to get going north, and that's exactly what they've done, and they've generated a ton of chances creating their offense out of the rush. Gibson's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Crosby's back on the ice, as he should be. He's the captain leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Ducks played along the boards. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Jari's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Centering pass! Oh, and he whiffs on it! The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Headman pass. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Gibson's been able to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James, but he's a real good job there. Timing is everything. Staying focused, tracking the puck, and making a good save at the right time. Blocked in traffic. Feeds it over to Malkin. And he takes the feed. Puck scooped up by Raquel. Slick feed. And he makes the save on that play. Slides it diagonally to Bakaninen. Bunting's got control of it now behind the cage. Malkin's got it along the boards. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Moves it to Silverberg. Takes a shot. Shuts it down with a stop. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Anaheim's got the puck near the back end. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And that goes off course off a body. Here he is, wrists it on them. Oh, what a save. Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what. James, that's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Gouda's picking up steam. Here's an odd man rush. Pat save. He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. What a beautiful play they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage. Odd man rush, perfectly executed. Speed, puck movement, and of course, finish. The Ducks can do no wrong this evening, especially in the offensive zone here, Cheryl. Well, the score is a testament to the way they've been playing. I mean, they've been dominating in the offensive zone. They've had the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. On their rush. Denies them with the pad. And he takes a shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Made that stop. The Ducks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Quick feed to Fowler. And that carries off a body in the lane. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. The Ducks have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Crosby's won the draw and they're on the attack. Gets a piece of it with the trapper. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. What a steal in his own end. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Penalty coming up here. The Ducks will lose a man tripping the call. The Penguins once again send out their power play unit. 
Though they haven't scored on the power play yet, man, it is a tough thing to do. And this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. And manages to clear the zone. Great poke by Lundstrom. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Ducks will kill off a few extra seconds now. And the puck leaves the zone. Long pass up ahead to center. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Scooped up along the wall by Silverberg. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Cruz recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Crosby's at the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Penguins win the draw. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. tough one, James, when you're in that spot and you're unable to put it between the pipe, but I think he just rushed his shot, and as you can see, it clangs off the end boards. Picked up along the boards by Latang, and a great job by the shorthanded unit those last few moments as the penalty expires. Oh, that power play really wasn't effective at all, James, and coach won't be happy. A lot of possession time, but it's correlated to nothing. You have to create some motion and be quick to be able to open up seams and lanes to the net. Anaheim's got it in the defensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Gains the zone. The Ducks have the puck in the corner. A chance! And he shuts the door on that. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Ducks with a total team effort to this point as they lead comfortably here in the second. Anaheim's won the draw. Here's the feed in front. Scores! What an opportunity at the Livers. Just a fabulous goal, Jay, with a lot of elements woven into it. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. He's able to hold himself up and get that shot off. His hands away from his body. Not in the greatest position, but he manages to find the back of the net. Anaheim's got more than a few smiles on the bench tonight as they inch closer and closer to the end of the second period. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's been a consistent effort right through two periods of play now, James, and they're going to head into this intermission. It could disrupt their rhythm, and they got to make sure they stay focused, they stay intense, and they come ready to start the third the way they started the first and second. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Joseph. Scores! Well, they've got a mountain to climb, but they at least have started the escalation. Well, yeah, they're not at the base of the mountain anymore, but I'll tell you, they're looking up, and it's a long way to go. They're going to have to dig in, put their work boots on if they want to claw their way back into this one, James. The Penguins finally get some momentum going their way. Now, can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back to back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. And he takes the feed. And that one's turned away. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Eller. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Great glove save. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Anaheim's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Ellers won the draw. Great reach by Smith. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Shot! Here he is on the backhand! And he turns that one aside. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Here in the later 
later stages of this period. Pittsburgh's got some of their mojo going here, but they still need a lot more. Carlson's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Redirected off a stick. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Oh, he makes the save. I thought he was beaten on that one time, but no. Takes it along the wall by Bunting. Raquel's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. And he takes the dish. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hack Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena. Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The Ducks have a comfortable lead here in the third period, James. They do not have to change a thing. Don't alter the game plan. Just close it out. Jari's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Anaheim's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Takes the feed at the point. Steps in with the block. The Penguins move to the offensive zone. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Anaheim's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. They take possession as he scores! Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Penguins don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Quick pass to Crosby. Zellweger's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, singling penalty. Sends it over to Carlson. They got a chance to make something happen here on the delayed penalty. Extra attackers out. And let's see what the call is. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot, and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line so multiple variations that can strike. The Penguins will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the play continues. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Great defensive effort with the stick. Slides the puck across to Fowler. On the attack along the boards. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Trying to gain a step. He's in all alone. Oh, beautiful save on the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. Slides the puck ahead to Achari. Here's a short pass to Carter. Takes lines, come on. Dumped in and they'll go get some fresh legs. Feeds the puck over to Fowler. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Moves the puck to Latang. Takes a shot. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Gibson. 
Anaheim's on total cruise control early in this third period. McTavish has won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Quick pass to Vetrano. Puts it on net. That's blown by Jari. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. The Ducks have looked sharp tonight. Lots of pucks on net and a lot of goals as a result. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. From center, they get into the attacking area. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Pittsburgh's on the attack. And he slides it quickly to O'Connor. Great save by Gibson. And the puck's knocked loose. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Oh, he stops it with a glove. Great reflexes there. And he loses control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by O'Connor. for the whistle. Anaheim's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. The Penguins will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Pittsburgh's got it now. Oh, that save! Tremendous agility there by Gibson. From the place 99 made famous. Scores! I think that went off the defense. Pittsburgh's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. He got all of that one. And that's intercepted by Bunting. And here's the pass to Joseph. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Knocked away in the offensive zone. <laughs> Oh, and this is just incredible body positioning, James. Just execution at its finest in terms of balance. That wide stance to evade a defender who's trying to push you off the puck and then being opportunistic and finishing it with a great shot. Well, when you have natural strength and power and then you compound it with the training of today's game, this is what you get. I mean, he is so powerful and strong. He's got great balance, good core strength. They try and jostle him off the puck, no chance, and he winds up with the goal. The Penguins desperately needed something, and they finally made it happen. Well, they're in the final frame here, but they got one back, and you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. They've got numbers here. Sends it in front. Another pass. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Puck grabbed by Joseph. Slides it across to Bunting. Oh, gets a blocker on it to turn it away. The Ducks will play it in their own end. And he takes the pass. Gets the puck in deep. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. The Penguins gain possession in their own end. Through center. Here's a shot. Shuts him down. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Moves it to Lundstrom. Oh, and how did you miss that? I mean, it's all part of the game, but Cheryl, you've got to connect on that one. Well, you do. Is Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. But with a one-goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they got to find a way to kill it off.
The Penguins send their man advantage unit out once more. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. And he coughs it up with the pass. How did he stop that one? Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Chance in front, and he comes up big with the stick save. at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure. You're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Malkin's looking to get things going for his squad, guys. If he can use his zone ability to create some scoring opportunities, that might be the spark that they need to get back in this game. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Handles it along the blue line. An easy pass save made by Gibson. Passes it in front. Can't connect the play. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Passes on over to Carter. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! We're all evened up. And if you left early on this one, you'd be shaking your head. Oh, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. The Penguins have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here at a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, when you score a goal like this, often you put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within reach. Now it's a much different story. Gibson's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Past the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Anaheim's crossed the line and on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Strom. And that's off a stick. Into the offensive end now. Quick feed to Crosby. Oh, he got all that. What a save by Gibson. Some good stick work to force that turnover. But Toronto's got the puck. Quick shot. Scores! And three is the magic number. There's the hat trick. And I think there's going to have to be an extra stoppage in play here. taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Anaheim's got to feel like they've got some extra energy now with that one goal lead here in the third. Well, you can see the finish line, but you're not there yet. So you got to make sure that you continue to press, James. You got to close quickly on your opponent when they have the puck. Don't give them an inch in all three zones. Across the line along the left wall. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Here they come inside the neutral zone. And he's knocked off the puck there. Handles the pass. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Vakaninen. Coming close. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Wow. Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Well, as play continues, can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Quick pass to Beckenainen. Gibson's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out. Yeah, it didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Knocked away with the stick by Gudis. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Pittsburgh's goalie is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. Scores into the empty net. Heather, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Listen, I was on the back end. I didn't have hands, so when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. 
and everywhere, even when it was the empty net. Anaheim's got time, and after that empty netter, uh, quite a significant lead on their side now here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, it's all but over, isn't it? And that's a great play to be able to get that puck 200 feet down the ice when you're under pressure with the extra attacker. And now it's grabbed by Fowler. Here's the puck. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Anaheim's a winner tonight, but it certainly wasn't pretty how they finished up squandering a significant lead. Yeah, I didn't anticipate that this would happen. I mean, they were flying the first two periods, and it looked like their legs are in just quicksand in that third. Now, they're going to have to find a way to come back after that third period. You know the coaching staff is not going to be happy about their habits. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski wishing you a safe and healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon.